I'm gonna unwrap, unveil this this whole thing here. Oh, look! There it is. There, there it is. There, there whoop! There, there it is. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, sometimes you don't really even want to open it. You just want it. Oh man, it feels so good. Um, I still remember the first time we got our very first album uh, unboxing it, you know, when they mailed it to us. Um, there's just something um, you feel like, oh, we, we've done it, we've done it. But so, yeah, it's, this, uh, this packaging is beautiful. I, I really like this, um, this see-through part of the cover here. Let me see if I can get into the stuff here. go yeah so I'm taking all this off but I, I I always like to keep the sticker there you know for the collectors that's that's all part of it it's all stuff that you have to design you know all this is the stuff that's been designed so yeah like I said it's got this got this hole in it you know so you can see it's the actual albums there um, yeah let's uh, let's get right into the stuff here um, two individually um, wrapped. You can see the different designs. I mean, they, it's sort of same sort of design, different different colors. Um, feels really good. This is it's heavy. I mean, it's the the way that the the the, the uh, picture disc is done. I think there's a you know, there's a there's a couple of pieces of. Uh, colored paper in there inside the, the clear vinyl. I think that's what's going on. Yeah um, But that's really uh, feels really 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 good um, There is this Sort of well, what do you call it? it's not lyric sheet because it's not lyrics um, But it's um, some pictures from the time. This is from the very first um, Concert we played in Dallas, Texas, yeah. Um, on the way to doing our show at South by Southwest. Um, I don't know if the Soft Bulletin was quite out here. This is the very first time we did a show. Um, Steven wasn't playing drums and I'm standing up there not playing guitar. And we've made this, this homemade giant gong stand and I would play that during the race for the prize and the gash. And then the other side is Probably just about um, maybe a year before them, it's a picture of Stephen and I doing. Um, don't remember where this would be. Maybe this is one from England where we're doing a, a boombox experiment where we have the audience. They have their boomboxes and we're conducting them of which one to turn up and down, and you know, um, pretty pretty fun. So this soft bulletin edition um, is the zoetrope uh, thing and for those, those of you that, that aren't, don't really know what that is so you put this on your turntable and of course um, it's meant to turn at 33 and a third rounds per um, minute or whatever um, and you would think that this turning is going to make it animate but it but it doesn't really do that now when you see videos of this it makes it look like you're just going to be able to watch this, but you have to watch it with either a strobe light that you can sort of adjust the time to. And those aren't that hard to find, but not everybody has those. But the normal way, the most of the way that most people are going to be able to see this, see the animation anyway, is you're going to look through it with your phone and we'll give you some instructions on um, the proper uh, frame rate so you can really see this stuff going. And so it's, it's all placed on there in a zoetrope. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the beginning of a, a film animation where there's a slit and you see a little piece of, a, of an animation as it goes by and then it starts to move. So that's what's going to happen with this, you know. These are, this is like animation and it, it's sort of the guy, the running guy is kind of running at you and then he kind of dissolves and he comes back at you. All this stuff is kind of spinning, I think the words, the flaming lips here, it's, it's hard to see that exactly, but they're kind of moving and coming in. So lots of fun stuff, but I don't want you to be under the illusion that this animates itself. You know, you have to look at it uh, through a phone or, or with a strobe light, and none of that's that hard, um, but it is definitely worth doing. 
Um, for this edition, um, you know, the soft bolt and cover, I think most people know um, that uh, iconic um, image there. So for this one, we focused on this guy that's on the inside. This is this design that's uh, normally on the inside of the, of the albums and stuff. I mean, nowadays, you know, with, with downloading and stuff, it's hard to say how much of the design anybody gets to see. But anyway, in the very, um, when we first made um, CDs, and we didn't make albums when this came out. I think it was all um, CDs. Um, on the inside, there would be this sort of running guy. And, the running guy story is sort of told on this this thing here. At the time, I, I you know, there was uh, probably the song "Race for the Prize" is what's sort of being you know visualized here. There was a an image of, of uh, the 1968 Olympics, I think it was. Um, this isn't from that, but I remember a guy running, and it is, it is a marathon runner. He's running into the night, and um, I remember my older brothers and I were just, we just, we we were just, uh, we love this this part of the Olympics, you know. This, and running is such a, is such a solitary thing, you know. You don't really need any equipment. You don't really need anybody's help. It's just you're just running and. and and this, these marathon runners really impressed us. And so, um, like a lot of uh, Flaming Lips albums, I think, um, you know, I kind of really had an idea of what the beginning of what, what this, this uh, front cover was going to be. I, had, I really kind of had it for a long time. We made the album um, knowing it was going to be called Soft Bolton, and I knew I was going to use this image. I didn't know exactly all the designs and the colors and all that, but I knew I was going to use this image. And um, so we made sure we got the, the, the guy that took the picture, uh, we got his permission and all that. But then, like always, you know, you need, um, people call it content now, but back then, you know, you just need more stuff, you know. So I came up with this design. This is kind of left over from the four disc Zyreka sort of ideas. Those are lines going in circles, and these sort of had another version of that. <clears throat> Um, that was that was the record that came out just before this. Yeah, and I have this little running guy here. He's like he's he, he obviously looks like a runner, but maybe that's not true to everybody. He's got shoes on and shorts. And uh, at the time, I was doing a lot of running. I was, I was I was riding my bicycle, and it just seemed to embody this kind of lone, uh, this lone person running into the future, running into the unknown, running into a new version of his self, a new life, or something like that. And there's all this kind of you know abstract. Um, chaos or storm, whatever it is. Some of it that looks like it's very designed, it's very organized or whatever, and some of it's kind of, you know, meant to be fucked up or whatever. But anyway, so that's what that's what this 25-year um, um, anniversary edition of the Soft Bolton is like. It's, it's amazing. So I hope there's some still available out there. Get it, uh, get it quickly. There are, I don't know how many there are. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll check and see. But yeah, it's it, it's um, it's beautiful. It sounds great. It sounds it sounds really great. So yes, there we go. All right, bye everybody.